I need a million dollars, not some bucks, son. Smoking, huh? Romeo y Julieta. Anejo. And this comes on the foot of the cigar. It says Anejo. Or as the white people, white liberal people from California would say, Romeo y Julieta Anejo. After I finish smoking this, I'm going to head to Whole Foods Market and buy my Spurg family, my Spurg SJW feminist family, some raw quinoa because their little stomachs can't handle anything else. <laughs> Hashtag vegan life. <laughs> and then after that, I'm going to go do some yoga. Yeah, I'm going to go do some yoga because I don't believe in violence. I don't believe in martial arts. I don't believe in combat. No. I'm just going to do some yoga, and if somebody rapes my Spurg family, I'm going to be there doing Tai Chi, hoping that the criminal has a great orgasm while railing my family. <laughs> Heinrich, der Untermensch are here. Fire up the gas chambers. How's it going, everybody? Smoking a good cigar. Romeo. Julieta Anejo and drinking some brandy this time because I ran out of whiskey went to the liquor store picked up some brandy for a change and guys let me tell you I don't really like brandy that much you know but you gotta you gotta switch it up sometimes you gotta switch it up it really wrecks havoc on my stomach I don't know why but this is some España stuff, high grade. Solera Reserva Lustau. Made in Spain, bottled in Spain. You know how we do Europa. Europa. Eins, zwei, drei. Prost. The glass is hand. Und ich sag Prost für die Übermensch. Enough yapping. Let's get to the review. I'm going to make this one quick. Romeo y Julieta Anejo. Guys, I have never been disappointed by a Romeo y Julieta cigar ever. And this is great. Okay? I expected it to be good because it bears the Romeo y Julieta name and it is good. Let me give you guys a quick summary of the flavors. First half you get a dark pepper spice mixed with a fresh brewed coffee, okay, like beautiful coffee flavors, okay. And then in the second half, the coffee changes from, the spice fades away completely, and the coffee changes from like a fresh brewed coffee to more of like a, 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 a cappuccino, okay? But not like a super sweet cappuccino, but sort of like a dark cappuccino. Now in the third half, still coffee flavors but not so much cappuccino anymore. Now it's just like a regular coffee. Mixed with a mild hint of cocoa puffs, like the cereal cocoa puffs flavor. So overall the transitions are really good. Pepper, fresh brewed coffee into cappuccino with um, you know some other coffee notes here and there and then it gets into uh, just a regular coffee with uh, cocoa puffs. Overall medium bodied, medium strength, no harshness, no uh, nasty tarry flavor yet in the third half. Burn was great, construction was great, no complaints from there. It's a dark cigar, not too veiny, 
Okay. Ash is great. Very bright white with minor discolorations here and there. It's a pretty big ring gauge. I don't really know the ring gauge by memory, but I cut it with the X1. No problems. Zycar X1. Do I recommend it? Yes, I recommend it. Do I like it? Yes, I like it. I think it was around $10. This is the problem. I buy cigars, stuff them in my humidor, forget about them for like a month or two, and then I grab them, smoke them, review them, then I forget what I paid for them. So I'm going to have to look up the price online, but I'm pretty sure it was like $10. Okay? $10, good. If you like coffee flavors, coffee from beginning to end, if that's your thing, if you like dark cigars, go for it. Box worthy, if that's the case. Box worthy. For the price tag though, what would I get? Would I get the CAO Flathead 660? Or would I get this? Depends what I'm looking for. If I'm looking for a you know, a lot of coffee flavors. If that's what I'm feeling on that particular day, I definitely get this. If I'm looking for a more elegant finish with uh, cocoa and more Maduro flavors and more tobacco flavors, I'd go with the CAO Flathead. But for $10, if you have money to spare, I think it's $10. I have to check. If you have money to spare for 10 bucks, it's a great cigar. Box worthy, in my opinion if you like coffee flavors. It's not infused as far as I know. That about wraps it up, people. It's good. It's good. No complaints. Uh, nothing too, um, too spectacular. But for $10, it's a great stick to relax with. You know, if you're not looking for, like, heavy tobacco flavors, the room note is pretty inoffensive. Smells like sort of freshly brewed coffee with uh, tobacco. So if coffee is your thing and you're looking for interesting transitions, you know, switching from different coffee flavors and slight tobacco flavor variations give it a shot it has my seal of approval hey happy new year you filthy animals I hope you have a savage new years where you accomplish lots of things get lots of money get lots of women smoke lots of good cigars because in the end it's about the luxury yeah we're looking for a waifu but you ain't gonna find a waifu like quiet from metal gear solid 5 i cry every fucking time i play that game okay i didn't get too far in it yet i'm a little bit late on the metal gear solid 5 train because it's on sale now so i bought it on sale what a fantastic game i love metal gear solid it's uh Spanning from my childhood, ever since the Metal Gear Solid 1 uh, on PS1, and then I played Sons of Liberty and stuff like that on the, on the PS2, and Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater on the PS2, and then I played, um, what's the other one? Metal Gear Solid 4, that was pretty good too, I liked it, but Metal Gear Solid 5... I still like Metal Gear Solid, Snake Eater is still my favorite, it's just the story, the boss battles, everything, just the action and everything in that game was just spectacular. But Metal Gear Solid 5 is up there, you know, it's, it's, it's more free roam, you know, you could go wherever you want, do whatever you want, have some fun, there's a lot of cool gadgets and stuff like that you could use in the game, so. But yeah man, we're looking for a waifu like Kawhi, okay, sexy ass sniper girl that doesn't say anything, just blasts people into oblivion. But what do you get in real life? Thoughts. Thoughts. And even in Metal Gear Solid 5, I'm not going to spoil anything. 
Ебат. It's all heartaches, people. Cheerio.